Welcome back to the Scottabite channel, and this is Scott. So in my tutorial, Self-Hosted Jitsi with user accounts, we saw how to install Jitsi Meet. We also added user accounts so that only authorized users can initially create meetings. And Jitsi Meet has an optional integration for a collaborative whiteboard. And in this presentation, we're going to learn how to install that integration. It's a program called Excalidraw, and we're going to integrate it with your Jitsi Meet instance. Here we are at my self-hosted version of Jitsi with user accounts. And I'm going to go ahead and create a meeting called Test Meeting. And when I do so, it will come up first of all and ask me for permission to access the devices. But then it comes up with this uh, Waiting for Moderator, which is part of the original installation that I made when I added the User Account option back in the uh, June tutorial. So I'll go ahead and say Login. Go ahead and provide my username and my password and now I'm a moderator and anyone else can join the meeting and they won't be confronted with any other additional prompts. So what this video is going to be about is specifically the whiteboard. So when I click on the options menu down here, I can say show whiteboard and we get this Excalidraw light whiteboard pop up here. And of course, we can do things you would expect in a whiteboard, such as draw um, rectangles and ellipses and modify things and type in text. Um, and the best part is that this whiteboard is collaborative, which basically means that it can be used and contributed to by more than one person. Uh, within the context of the Jitsi meeting. And then um, you can go up here to the option in the upper left hand corner and you can say that you want to save this as an image and it can either be saved as a PNG image or an SVG image. Uh, once you exit the Jitsi meeting then this particular whiteboard goes away. And to illustrate that, if I just simply say leave the meeting and end meeting for all, if I sit here for a second, it'll bounce back to the menu. And if I restart this meeting once again, and then come up here to the option to display the whiteboard, the whiteboard is blank because we exited the meeting. So, um, I think this is going to be a very valuable collaborative tool. There's a number of different guides to how to install it online. I think that uh, because of the complexity of installing Jitsi to begin with and then adding the Jitsi um, login piece that you saw here, I decided to make the Excalidraw backend a second LexD container and then connect that LexD container back to Jitsi. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Here we are at the command prompt for my LexD server, and I'm going to do a LexC launch Ubuntu colon 2204. I'm going to call the name of this Excalidraw. It'll be the Excalidraw backend server for Jitsi. And then I'm setting up the default profile the bridge profile and then boot.autostart is set equal to true and very importantly security.nesting will be set equal to true since the container will be running docker nested inside of the lexd container now we'll go ahead and do a lexc shell into excalidraw and now that we're in the shell, I'll go ahead and clear the screen and make the font a little bit larger so it's easier to see. When creating a new container or installing any new operating system, you should always do an apt update 
and an apt upgrade. And that's what we're doing here. Since we're inside of the shell, we are on the root account and we did not need to perform a sudo command to do this. Now that the container is updated, I'm going to add a user account for myself with an add user Scott, providing Scott a password. And now we're going to install Docker from the script on the Docker website. Now that Docker's installed, let's go ahead and install Docker Compose with an apt install docker-compose-y so it doesn't prompt us. Let's add Scott to the sudo group by doing a user mod dash a capital G sudo Scott. And let's also add Scott to the Docker group with a user mod dash a capital G Docker Scott. And then let's su over to the Scott account. To install the Excalidraw backend for Jitsi, we have to do a git clone command to move a copy of the project down here locally. Next, I do an ls and a cd into the folder that the git clone has created, which is the Excalidraw backend. In this folder, if I do an ls, we have a number of files, including a Docker file. Let's do a nano on docker-compose.yml and I'm going to include the lines that you see here and we'll go ahead and just save that out with the control O and enter to write the file out and a control X to exit the nano editor. And finally, to bring the application up, we do a docker dash compose space up dash dash build dash D. To check and make sure that the application is up and running, we can do a docker PS. And here we have the Excalidraw backend up and running. Next, we want to do an IPA and we'll discover here that my Ethernet address for device ETH0, my TCP IP address rather for device ETH0 is 172.16.1.219. Now I'm going to my web browser and I'm visiting 172.16.1.219 and it says that the Excalidraw backend is up and running. So here we are over on Nginx Proxy Manager and assuming that you already have a installation of Jitsi and you already have a Jitsi domain name, you're going to want to go out to your domain name service provider and create a domain name for this Excalidraw. And in my case, I've got Excalidraw.scottabyte.com and the scheme is HTTP and then I put in the address of 172.16.1.219 which is what we found from the IPA command and then I listed here port number 80 because that's the default port that is being used for the web server for the back end. Then you're going to go over here to SSL, request a new certificate and then come back in and set force SSL to true. Once you've completed that, you can go ahead and click on Excalidraw uh, in your Nginx proxy manager and it should go ahead and visit the SSL page for it. And of course it'll say Excalidraw backend is up just like it did when we tested it from the raw IP address. The last step is to add the integration on your Jitsi server to be able to access your Excalidraw backend that we just created. In order to do that, you want to log into your Jitsi server and you want to edit the file forward slash Etsy forward slash Jitsi 
forward slash meet forward slash and the name of your domain. In my case, it's jitsi.scottabyte.com. And then appended to the end of that dash config.js. So we go ahead and enter the editor. You'll have to use sudo to edit this file since it's in the system space. In the nano editor, you want to go ahead and do a control W, which is a search. And we want to type in whiteboard. When it comes up, it's going to be listing a whiteboard that we're not looking for particularly. So we'll go ahead and do another control W and just hit enter and another control W and hit enter again. After the third control W, you should end up down at a section where you're going to have this line commented out with two backslashes at the beginning. You're going to remove those backslashes to make the whiteboard uncommented out. Also, the line that says enabled equals true, that will be commented out. You want to uncomment it. And then finally, the collab server base URL. You want to uncomment it and then put your address for your Excaladraw backend in here. In my case, that was https colon slash slash excaladraw.scottabyte.com and it should have a comma at the end of that line. Finally, you want to come down here a little bit further and we want to make sure we uncomment the line with the right brace and the comma at the end of it. Once you've done all of that, you can do a control O and enter to write the file out and a control X to exit the nano editor. The easiest way to make sure that this integration is active is just to simply do a sudo reboot now and it will go ahead and end your SSH session and your Jitsi instance will reboot and when it comes back up you will have your Excaladraw whiteboard backend operational. So in summary, Excaladraw is a very basic whiteboard that may be helpful while collaborating in a Jitsi meeting. And we installed Excaladraw in a dedicated LexD container to make the installation and the upgrade of it easier. And so the integration of Excaladraw into Jitsi is quick and straightforward. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And we'll see you next time.